Welcome to this session of Open Mentor. Let us continue on the computers. So far we have talked about the hardware. Let us talk something about software. If you take the computer, I'm talking about the PCs which are known to people now uh, in a big way. There were mainframes, minis. Now PCs, laptops, they control the world and tablets. If you take a PC, you have the basic operating system in it. Within the operating system, there are several other subsystems or softwares running it. But you need to know some of the basic software that turn on. You take any device. You take a, a floppy disk or say hard disk or a scanner. The scanner, if you just attach to the computer, it may not work. So, for every device, you have something called driver. There is a driver, it's a software. Scanner driver, printer driver, webcam driver. Usually it will come in a CD-ROM and you need to install that. Same way, anything with respect to the database, you need driver again. If you are installing Oracle or if you are installing MySQL, these things are called uh, ODBC or JDBC drivers. When we come to the database sections, we will see those things. These uh, drivers are mainly for programming languages to connect to the database. Then some of the standard software you see is the antivirus. Antivirus software, which protects your soft your system from external virus attacks, internet attacks. You also have some of the primary softwares like browser, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome. These are all browsers. A browser is nothing but uh, a front end, a screen through which you see web sites or portals. Websites or portals, you use browser to view that. Then you have got something called IM, instant messengers, mainly for chat slash talk. Uh, some of the examples are like uh, Skype from Microsoft, Yahoo Messenger, there are a lot of other messengers available. Then you have got something called Office Apps. This Office Apps are uh, nothing but document writing software, document or spreadsheets. Let me write it spreadsheet. A document is nothing but a plain sheet of paper on which you write. Uh, examples are MS Word, Open Office document. Spreadsheets is nothing but uh, rows and columns. Standard examples are Excel sheets or Open Office spreadsheets, Lotus spreadsheets from IBM. You have got presentations. Presentation software are like uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, OpenOffice, and other software like Adobe Presentations. These are pretty common in every system. You also have email software. You can access email through browser itself, but you can download the email and then use this. Examples are MS Outlook. Thunderbird, Mozilla, Thunderbird. You also have picture or drawing software. Microsoft Paint or uh, JPEG editors. These are quite common in most of the uh, PCs that come pre-installed. Apart from this, you have got something called file 
explorer a file explorer is the one through which you could see your files and then access folders or directories other than this you may you may install more and more software by default some of the software come pre-installed uh, the device drivers antivirus you have to install browsers you may have to install instant messenger you have to install office apps email this may come this is default this is usually default in Microsoft PCs over and above this you can install any other software so the basic software are very less the installable softwares so install what do you mean by install install meaning you can download a software from a website or from take it from a CD-ROM that is usually something by name setup.exe if you open that it will start installing that's how you can use that software from that point onwards without installing many things will not work there are additional softwares in every system depending upon the usage depends depend, depends on the users also not just usage also on users for example there are applications like programming tools visual studio dot net java eclipse these are all special softwares these are all used only by programming people so if this will not be there in the PC pre-installed so you may have to install if you are an end user some of the ERPs ERP software you may have to install and then start using what you are seeing on the screen is uh, a note writing software it has a pen attached to it so I have to install the software then only you can use that with the computer so installation is a very simple procedure same way like installation you can do uninstall also that means remove the software from the system so anyone who is coming into the software needs to know installation and uninstallation to the basic level thank you